Hello, I'm Helen Reinecke Wilt of Arlington County's Initiative to Rethink Energy and Green Home Choice Program. You're about to watch one of a series of videos we call How to Build a Better Home, the story of the construction of a passive house. We hope you'll find some useful tips about making your home greener and more cost efficient, whether you're building a new home or simply upgrading your present one. Here's green home builder Patty Shields of Metro Green with today's tips on slab insulation and vapor barriers. It's about lowering your energy bills. Consume less energy and water. We take up a less carbon footprint. More comfortable. Super quiet. You will reap the rewards for the life of the home. I think it'd be great if people see homes like this and think about green design when they're building a home. Hi, this is Patty Shields with Metro Green and the Arlington County Air Program. We're here to talk about slab insulation and vapor barrier that were installed on this house last year. And I want to do this right now looking at the house as it is now to understand that insulation on a house it starts from the ground up. We just don't want to think about the insulation in the walls or the roof. We want to think about what's under our feet in our basement. And so that's what we'll talk about today. The two most important things in Passive House are insulation and air sealing. Literally, your house is almost turned into a cooler, like a styrofoam cooler. And you can look out here, it looks a little bit like a styrofoam cooler. This is the vapor barrier for a passive house slab. This is 15 millimeters thick. All homes today are required to have a vapor barrier, but um, very few homes use one that's this thick. It's very stiff. It's much different than a, than a standard uh, plastic that you would find on your standard home. The reason why it's this thick is because we don't want it to get punctured um, during, the, during the slab pour. So we also don't want it to break down over time. The thicker it is, the longer it will last. What's important to know is that in this case, a lot of times what, what happens with a normal house is your vapor barrier just comes to here and stops. In this case, our vapor barrier was going to lap over the side of the house. And then when we put our frame wall, we will wrap the vapor barrier up the side of the house and tape it. So it's almost like a little bathtub, but what it does is it keeps all of the bad air, radon, all the things that we don't want in our house, outside the envelope of your home. Um, it's probably one of the most important things, things that you will do in the process of building a uh, passive house is this little piece right here. We'll use this tape to tape all the seams and make sure that no air is passing through. And eventually we'll do what's called a blower door test on this house and that will show us that we've done a good job and will show us where the leaks are if there are any leaks, um, but there won't be here. Thanks for watching. This is Patty Shields with Metro Green Home Builders. Join us again next time for another segment on how to build a green home. Thank you. If you would like more information on the Green Home Choice Program, please visit our website at arlingtonenergy.us slash greenhomechoice or call us at 703-228-4792. For the Air and Green Home Choice Programs, I'm Helen Reinecke-Wilt.